Boys and girls, welcome back to another video. This is a story about the most delusional man in the world, Billy McFarland. No, he's not related to Seth McFarland, the family guy. Guy. <laughs> this is a different guy. And he was recently released from prison, serving his four-year sentence out of six uh, for defrauding thousands of people out of money. Now, if Billy McFarland doesn't ring a bell, maybe the Fire Festival might ring a bell. Billy McFarlane was a co-founder of the Fire Festival, which if you're not familiar with what the Fire Festival is, it was this big music festival that was supposed to uh, have tons of music acts, huge celebrities like Kylie Jenner, Bella Hadid, and so many others. Uh, and it wasn't cheap by any means. The cheapest ticket to be part of this music festival or to go to the music festival in hopes of seeing these celebrities and mingling with them was $1,200. Now, this was all advertised as, as a super luxurious stay with meals provided. Uh, and the tickets ranged all the way up to $100,000, which people did end up paying. But when people arrived, they were confused to say the least they found that they were staying in tents like these and their meals that were provided were bad sandwiches and they looked something like this definitely not a twelve hundred dollar experience in my opinion not only that there was also no musical guest it was basically come to the bahamas and let's see if rich people can live like homeless people so inevitably he was sued and he was also sent to jail for fraud defrauding $26 million worth of people's money. He was sent to prison for six years. He only ended up doing four out of the six. And he recently got out. And this is where the story gets juicy and the delusion picks up. So Billy McFarlane had the great idea on how to repay back everybody that he stole from. And you won't believe his great idea. Drum roll, please. That's right, he decided to throw another fire festival. This one was called Pirate, and it has the exact same concept of bringing people to the Bahamas or to this deserted island and living it up like celebrities. He is the human embodiment of double it and pass it on to the next person. Maybe he thinks second time is the charm, but it's essentially the exact same premise, having people pay large amounts of money for a experience uh, to go to the Bahamas or other rural islands. So essentially, Fire Festival Part 2. Uh, I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know why he thinks this is going to work. I don't know if he actually believes in this or if he thinks people will actually invest knowing what he's previously known for and coming up with the same idea again. And it's going to be really hard for him to persuade people to partake in this business venture of his he posted a tiktok on what pirate is so let's go ahead and watch it and you guys be the judges of if you think this is fire fest number two or if is he is he coming along and actually having a great idea for once let's see pirate is not a festival it's not an event and it's definitely not a metaverse Pirate is a technology that I've been working on for the past couple of years called the VIDR, the Virtual Immersive Decentralized Reality. So what the V- First off, if anybody's giving you a business pitch and they're wearing pink socks, <laughs> you already know they failed. What the hell? VIDR is, is a technology that brings together and connects people from around the world, both virtually and physically. Then, once they're together, it allows people to actually affect real world change. So this all starts with Pirate partnering with a small remote destination where we will host a handful of artists, content creators, entrepreneurs, and any of you guys who end up joining the Pirate crew. Alongside this location, we'll launch a live virtual replica of the island where anybody from around the world can not only watch what's happening live, but they can actually come He's essentially trying to do like a Big Brother slash Fire Festival part two. Somebody get this guy away from islands. I don't know why he's so obsessed with islands. Together with their friends to affect and even own the real world adventures. This virtual map is a small preview of one of my favorite islands in the Exumas. But Pirate is not just about the Bahamas. We're open and actively seeking other partnerships. 
So Caribbean nations and any other adventurous location around the world, hit me up. As you guys all probably- I'm sorry to say this, but nobody's hitting you up. If you are, you deserve to get scammed. Probably know. We're starting everything off with a global treasure hunt. We're bringing together people on a small and manageable scale. I ask you guys to please follow pirate.vidr to see the technology that I've actually built and to join our pirate crew. Okay, so yeah, that's the pitch that he did for pirate. Again, it sounds very fire festival and even has the same symbolism with the names having a Y instead of an I type deals. Some of the comments are like, can't wait for the Netflix show. And I'm not going unless Ja Rule is involved. If you guys are not familiar with Fire Festival, he was also one of the big like promoters and part co-owners of the Fire Festival. He was also in big trouble. So honestly, I'm excited to see how this is going to play out at the end of it. Uh, the delusion is real with this man. He honestly thinks people were going to invest after knowing what he did and basically doing the exact same thing again. We'll have to wait and see. What do you guys think? Do you guys think people are going to be part of this pirate festival or pirate or this pirate movement? Let me know down below. You think it's a scam? I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you guys again in another video. Peace out. Mwah.